Hello everyone. So, per request, we wanted to do a video today for someone who really liked the Strange Academy and we didn't know a whole lot about it, but we had to take a little time off to read a lot of this and learn it, find out exactly how it all works. Let us begin. The Strange Academy is also called Jericho Strum School of the Mystic Arts. It was created by Dr. Strange as the founder, but is mostly run by Dr. Voodoo. The first appearance of the Strange Academy is, of course, in Strange Academy number 1 of March 2020. The Academy was established by Dr. Strange sometime after the Empirical Invasion and subsequent near destruction of Earth's entire magic. According to Zelma Stanton, the grounds the Academy stands on were used as a sanctuary for magic practitioners since before known history, although the building itself was built back in the 1800s. And what we're going to do, rather than going over the students, first we'll go over the class descriptions. One of the first classes that they come to is the history of magical objects. What is the Wand of Watum, the Crystal Cadavis, the Tiburo's Coat? The answer of these questions may save your life, so of course they have to sign up for Professor Ancient One's course, which will give them a working knowledge of 423 magical artifacts from this and 27 closest dimensions. Another class is the Elements of Chaos Magic. Newton's laws are basically Newton's suggestions, as all physics bends to those who practice chaos magic. Professor Maximoff is the foremost practitioner of the most volatile magic, and studying with her is the best way to avoid perishing at the hands of dark chaoticians. And of course, with a school like this, you kind of expect this class. Introduction to the Undead the only thing that is certain is taxes, and sometimes what you thought was your last goodbye isn't. Zombies are real and not to be trifled with, but don't think that TV and comic books have it right either. Zombies are a very particular sort of being, and every student needs to be ready to interact with them. And of course, the professor for that is Jericho Drum. Inferno 101. Love isn't officially a hell, but if it was, you would learn about it from Professor Rasputin and Hellstrom. There are several established hellscapes reachable from Earth, and as you have 98.4 chance of spending time on one of them, you better learn what you are in for. And it is very particularly important that you're not late for that class because you will be sent to hell, literally, by Mrs. Rasputin or Damien Hellstrom magical plants and care thereof. Not much is known about the magical plants and care thereof, as the man thing doesn't really speak. The idea is that they learn chemistry from these plants, as well as to take care of the plants, that they're going to need all the specific chemicals or when they make a potion or cauldron with. And of course, just like any class, you have gym. As a strong astral form necessitates a strong body, and Coach Taylor will get you there with calisthenics and some new magical devices. And just like any other school, of course you're going to have math. It is of course a project-based course in which students explore foundational principles of algebra and geometry to craft a mystical disguise. And of course this class is run by Professor Rintra. Another class that they have in Doctor Strange Academy is World and Heavily History. These are studies of ancient terrestrial civilizations beginning with Atlantis, Lemuria, Atlantean, Mesopotamia, and the valleys of the Nile, Indus, Yangtze, and Yellow Rivers, and concluding with a post-classical age congruent with post-six-day celestial civilizations, pre-rebellion, and considering the effects of the Black Legion on the great man theory of history. This is, of course, taught by Sister Sarah of the Holy Sepulchre. And some people have had this class before, AP Microeconomics. Equivalent to an introductory level college course in microeconomics, students will learn to think about individual economic decisions and get to know the forces and principles that influence their behavior, scarcity, cost, benefits, margin, analysis, etc. And this class is taught, ironically, by Signor Magico. Infiltrating Magically Secured Locations this class teaches one to successfully infiltrate and undermine the basic structure of just about anything, including a magical school or including magical locations, etc. 
And of course, with a school like this, you will have a class called Creative Spell Casting. Tap into your inner mage and learn to cast your own unique spells. If a student is bursting with the ideas that they want to build their own spells, but they don't know where to start, Nico will show them how. And of course, this class is taught by Nico Minero. Anatomy 101. Of course, this is going to be a very particularly hard class in the Doctor Strange universe because there are an anatomy of over a thousand species from Earth to all the way to the far reaches of the galaxy and beyond, even in our reality or others. And this class is taught by Zelma. Another class in the Doctor Strange Academy is Astral Projecting. These students, of course, will always have to learn how to astral project. And of course, Professor Yao will put every student's skills to the test by teaching them how to shift between realms and also time. And these classes become very interesting because he is very liberal and allows them to travel all over the place, even so far as playing tag through different realities. Sanctum Economics. Everything starts at home. In these classes, one will learn how to protect and nurture your home and home life. Now, this class is taught by Wong and the Mindful One and will provide easy-to-learn recipes on bountiful rejuvenation, on their magical, mystical skills, and also they will learn how to balance a checkbook, which is pretty important. Pre-Med Inner Spiritual Studies In this class, Professor Shaman will teach one how to perform medical work through spiritual means. If you talk to your dead patients, you could probably find out what you did or could have done better. Foreign language. Foreign language is done by Professor Dead Girl. And this class is needed because it is a prerequisite for Ghost Whispering 101 and Vampiric Romanian 101. We have another class called Spells and Summon, which is run by Agatha Harkness, Nocturnal Architecture by Dr. Sheridan, and Interdimensional Geography by Zelma, as well as Mystical Defense 101, and of course, that is ran by Professor Wong. Now we're going to do a little rundown on the students of Strange Academy. And we're going to keep it short because there's so many. Because it would be like running down the X-Men original class. And it would take quite a while. But we will get started with a character named Emily Bright. Emily Bright has been gifted with immense magical power that she's had since she was a baby. She's even been able to hold off death itself. However, Emily's formidable abilities have also made her a huge target. Many evildoers and other magical beings have been following her and trying to attack her. So, Emily has enrolled in Strange Academy to understand her gifts, but also for her own protection. Shaylee Moonpetal A bright and exuberant student, Shaylee hails from the other world. She is friendly and loves to make new friends. Shaylee is a rare human-slash-fairy hybrid which has caused her family to make sacrifices in order to allow Shaylee to remain with her own kind because a fairy and a human making a child is considered taboo, if not illegal. Doyle Dormammu As we read on with this story, we always find one of our favorite characters. Just like the X-Men, we fell in love with Wolverine, and we love Colossus. However, Doyle is a different story. We absolutely love this character. Doyle is the illegitimate son of Doctor Strange's arch enemy, the Dread Dormammu. The family resemblance is completely uncanny, and Doyle clearly takes after his father in terms of power. But whose example ultimately will Doyle follow? Strange or Dormammu's, his illegitimate father? Eirik and Alvi. These two characters hail from Asgard as twin brothers, and Eirik and Alvi are magically gifted. But they are far removed from the inner circle, the mighty Thor, Sif, the Warriors Three, etc. on Asgard. Now, on Asgard, Eirik and Elvi may simply be among the crowd of gods, but on Earth they will be able to forge their own legend. Guslog. This is another wonderful character out of the series, and it's really funny to see how this always works out. Easily the biggest and most physically endowed student at the Strange Academy, Guslog is a frost giant from Jolnheim. Loki was recently crowned king of the Frost Giants after the War of the Realms, and he took a special interest in Guslog's ability. Now, Guslog must be very special indeed if Loki is personally making the arrangements for him to attend Strange Academy. 
or this may be the latest mischief from the god of mischief. Zoe Laval. In the Marvel Universe, Marie Laval is a voodoo priestess who trained Dr. Voodoo and fought Dr. Strange. Zoe seems to have some of her great-great-grandmother's talents, but we're also hoping that she doesn't try to kill Dr. Strange quite as many times. Calvin Morse. Calvin is a total nerd and is super stoked that he found his enchanted leather jacket so that he could go to the Doctor Strange Academy. As the school is pretty much a huge step up from the rough life he's had thus far in foster care. Calvin can see nothing but an upside from this opportunity. Desi. Her real name is Despair, but she prefers to go by Desi when addressed by her fellow students. Desi is a demon from Limbo who has the gift slash burden to see things as they truly are. She can see all of her fellow students' secrets, and that becomes a huge problem going forward in the comics. In some instances, she chooses to share what she knows, and in others, she tries not to. Another one of our favorite characters in this comic series thus far with the Strange Academy is Toth. Toth is kind of an abstract, weird character, kind of looks almost crystalline in its structure. He lives in a swamp type planet and is not exactly the most talkative student at Strange Academy. He barely talks at all. Coming from Weird World, this silent boy is a half crystal warrior and half man thing from Weird World. Germain. Very little is known about Germain, but all we can really say is this. He has a special connection to animals and he usually gets along very well with the rest of the students at the academy. Anyway, that concludes the rest of our video on the Strange Academy. If you like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe. We really do appreciate that around here. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell as well as leave a comment down below. If you have a question about a video or if you want to do a character of a video or whatever kind of review or rundown you'd like to see, just write it there in the comment box. As always, Excelsior, see ya.